All right, today we're going to draw a brush so that we can watercolor it in monochromatic scheme. So the first thing we're going to do is check our paper. There's two different uh, surfaces, one smoother than the other. We want the rough side because we want the tooth of that paper for painting so that it, it uh, paint adheres to it really nice. So I'm going to draw this brush. Um, there are some nice reflections going on in here, so I might outline some of those and the shadows, the edges, to make it look dimensional. Um, my angle is a little different than the camera angle. And what I'm going to do is I like to start with some of my bigger areas. So I'm going to start with this metal. And I'm going to bring it at an angle. Now you notice I'm making it wider on the front edge. The things get smaller as they go away. If you do perspective drawing, you should remember that and use that. And then I'm going to draw the edge uh, of my br bristles. I'm going to place them here and then use the side of that metal. Okay, it might have a little curve to it, so we might curve it a little. Um, determine how thick we want that, and then the side of the bristle. There's a metal ridge. Try to get in here and notice again it's narrower on this edge because it's farther away. This will round so it curves. I've got to double check these curves on there. I have a bad eraser on this pencil. You probably run across that where they leave marks. So a good eraser, handy. Um, I'm drawing very light. Glad that it's picking up, but I want to draw light because with watercolor, if I do some washes, um, my tints, that pencil mark will show through, and I don't want that. There's some ridges in here, and I've got to get the right angle to make it look like they're laying down. If I don't these ridges will look like they're standing up. So I'm going to try to get the right angle here. Okay, so there's some nice things going on here. Double edge here. Um, I'm not going to outline it. I know that I might have to leave it white. So with watercolor, you're going to end up leaving some things white. Um, kind of like gives it that nice. Yeah. So now I got to get this edge of this brush, it does curve, and I'm trying to do it in one pull. Here's the far edge, it's going to come in, now we're right there. Um, you could also kind of plan where the center is, and that kind of tells you where, where to place it. I'm kind of getting a little narrower here to show that edge. And there's a little edge in there that's a shadow, so I'm going to put it in a little bit so I remember that. Okay, there's a lot of wood grain in here. I'm not going to draw it all. I do have to get this edge that I see. Okay, the circle. Uh, sometimes they're completely round, but sometimes they're a little bit elliptical depending on your angle. Okay, and it's kind of pretty much drawn out. Um, the bristles, again, I'm not going to put them all in. I'm going to do that with the watercolor brush. Do a little dry brush. I do have to get this shadow. There's a little bit of shadow here. And the edge of the metal. Straight. And then comes in a deep brush. It's like a nice shadow. Now the shadow is going to get narrower than this curve. And then the 
make it wider than the top. Yeah, I think I'm ready to paint. I've got enough outline. Um, I can see that there's going to be some wood grain in here and down here, so we'll do that with dry brush after we wash it. And then I might do some washes to make this look like it's a flat surface on the table. So there we go. Ready to watercolor.